happy Thursday and welcome to Make It At Home. Today we are making candy sushi. Be sure to pick your kit up in the Yaz. Here is an example of what you'll turn out, turn up with, rather. So, uh, these are your kits. They're in little takeout containers, directions on top. Inside are the supplies, most of the supplies that you'll need. You'll also want a plastic knife or regular knife, just a butter knife is fine. Alright, so inside you have two Rice Krispie Treat, one bag of Swedish, Swedish fish, Six candy straws and a package of sour stripes. The first thing you want to do is open your treats. And I found that using the lid of the container works as a pretty good surface. So you're going to open up one treat. You're going to cut this one with your knife into four even pieces, and this is going to be for your uh, nigiri. And I actually turn those on their side so you get a wider piece. So four of those. And then your other piece you're going to flatten uh, because you're going to use this one for your rolls. Um, and you can use wax paper or saran wrap or the packaging that it comes in to flatten it. This obviously is sticky, so your hands will be sticky afterwards. That's okay. Just flatten it as best you can. And if you think uh, you will be making this at home without picking up a kit, you can also make your own Rice Krispie Treats. There's a super easy recipe on the Kellogg's website. Or you can just Google it. Or you can buy one of those big sheets of Rice Krispies. Okay, so that's pretty flat. Now, the directions that I printed tell you to go ahead and cut it into pieces, but don't do that. Okay, so we're going to start with the nigiri first. This one is super easy. I mean, the whole thing's easy, but. All right. So take your package of Swedish, Swedish fish. I'm forever gonna have trouble saying that. Mine's already open. And you're gonna put one fish on each piece. And then you're going to take your striped candy and I found that you can cut this in half and use it on two pieces so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just gonna wrap it around. Kind of push one end into the bottom of that crispy treat. And there you go, you've got one done. And to repeat that, obviously, for the others. 
And then just put that on the plate. The other piece with the roll, you're going to take your flattened piece and drape your striped candy across it. Make sure it covers the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one and use the other half for the rest of it. Okay. And the fun part of Candy sushi is, if you've got leftovers, you can eat those later. All right, so once you've got that on there, go ahead and push them in a little bit and then flip it over. All right, then you're going to take your sour straws. Or candy straws, rather. These aren't sour. And place them on one end. I did that wrong. Place them here on this end. act as like the filling for the roll. The one I made earlier for display had three in it. I'm going to try to get more in. So we'll do four. See how that turns out. Right. And again, you want to cut it. Cut the excess off. And now you're going to roll your roll. So take one, the end with the straws and wrap it. Roll it tightly. So you've got one giant sushi roll, and then you're going to take your knife and cut it. So you've got your bite-sized pieces. As you can see, they don't stick together extremely well, but you get the idea. There you go. And then you can just eat them and enjoy. So again. Alright, thanks for watching.